welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. This video, as you can see in the title, will be all about the wear and tear of my new Cartier Just Include ring. And this is the thin version that did come out a couple months ago. I thought that I would, you know, create this video just because I did see a lot of or a few just like questions in regard to the wear and tear of this ring. So I thought I'd just do an update video updating you guys on my experience with the ring and if anyone was kind of on the fence about it hopefully this will make up your mind okay guys so let's start with the first pro and that is that this ring is easily able to be worn by itself and what i mean is that if you're comparing the two thinner smaller versions of the cartier love ring and the justin clue ring i believe and in my opinion that if you have the cartier love wedding band size i just Personally, I think it kind of get lost on you. I don't really think it showcases well by itself and you kind of have to pair it with something for it to really stand out on its own. And even then it's not really on its own, it's paired with something. But I feel like with the Cartier just include the thin version, I think it stands alone just fine. I think it makes a statement by itself. And that is one of the reasons I purchased this item. I do eventually want to get the wedding band size and pair it with another ring. But I thought to start off with, I would have something that I didn't have to kind of multi-purchase something just for it to look good. I wanted something that if it was by itself, that it would stand alone and look presentable. And not that I'm saying that the Cardi Love Ring wedding band size, you can't wear it by itself, but I just that felt that on me, I couldn't personally wear it without feeling like I'm like, that's it. You know, like I couldn't really tell that it was Cartier and not that that's important, but I feel like if you're spending a lot of money, you should be able to at least enjoy it. And I personally did not enjoy it on, but I feel like I would really enjoy it on if I had a Diamond Eternity band around it. And that's kind of my thought process and what I'm looking into like doing with that ring when I purchase it. One of the reasons that I do find that it stands alone well is because of the design. So since it is just a nail, <laughs> it has these really cool, you know, like, just like pops and it's it's not just like a flat corner or round corner it really does kind of have like that 3d effect and it just really makes it that whatever finger i put it on i just feel like it makes a statement and i wear this all the time and i just love it by itself or when i pair it with my other rings but i feel like it can be worn by itself and people will notice it and not think oh it's cartier but just be like oh that's a really cool piece of jewelry which is kind of what I wanted when I was purchasing this item. Uh, one con I will mention, so I'll kind of just do pro, con, pro, and maybe some more pros, but one con that I do have is that since it does have this really unique design of it being a nail, just thought, it does sometimes get stuck in clothing. So if you have like a really delicate fabric, or like a sweater material it does kind of this part of it like the obviously the point where the nail ends it does kind of like get intertwined but it doesn't happen that often where i'd say it's ruined any of my clothes or anything like that i just think sometimes you have to be careful on what you're using and if you do have a very fine piece of clothing or a delicate piece of clothing i would just make sure that you're being like aware and consciously aware of that most of the time this does happen when it gets like kind of snagged into something it's either my like gloves or my jacket but never really much like shirts or anything that i'm actually wearing it's more stuff that like would pass through um the ring my next pro is that it is not easily well let me say not easily it does scratch but you can't really notice it because of the design and i know a lot of people always say whenever they have the cartier love collection it is you can always tell when it gets scratched it gets scratched very easily it is 18 karat gold which means that it is you know more delicate though obviously the less gold it has the more durable it can be but the higher in gold concentration that it has, it's gonna be more softer and just delicate to those faint scratches. And I do think it does have it. Like if I were to kind of show you throughout the ring that you could possibly, I feel like the most noticeable would be on like the nail head. But yeah, on the nail head, but overall, since the design and since it has like that curvature, you can't really tell the scratches at all. And I know if you, if I probably had the love ring, I would be able to tell a lot more because it's a flat surface. It can easily get scratched and those scratches can easily be noticed. 
So I think that's definitely a pro is just that you can kind of wear this and I'm not really too delicate with it because it is jewelry. I'm going to wear it all the time. I knew that I was going to get scratches, but I really, I've, I really can't tell that there's that much scratches and it's nothing where it's like bothering me. But I feel like if I had the flatter uh, ring, just because it is flatter, I would probably notice it more and that might bother me just because I would see it constantly. But this, I really don't see any scratches on like the naked eye. Another con or potential con could be the price. Cartier a love ring just include retails for $1,120, which is a pretty hefty price for a ring. I'm not gonna lie, it is very light, it is thin, um, but you are paying for Cartier as a brand, you are paying for the artwork, the design, the history of the ring and the, that like collection itself, the Justin Clue collection. So there's a lot of other factors going into it. But if you compare it to the Cartier Love uh, wedding band size, that is $1,070 starting at. Obviously the white gold and platinum uh, styles will be more, but the rose gold and gold metals will cost that much for retail without taxes. But yeah, so I think if you know you are more price sensitive or you don't like really spending and dishing out that much money on luxury items, I do think that's an incredible amount of money. But what I go to a pro is that this is an investment. This is gold, it is 18 karat gold. So, you know, gold kind of holds its value. It's not like maybe like a pair of shoes or a scarf or something where the value is kind of very much in the brand itself and how exclusive they make that to kind of drive the pre-love market. This is gold. This is like a standard. People love luxury. People don't love luxury. Gold has a value. It is easily tracked on like kind of, you know, if you look in exchange or whatever, gold is a form of like a commodity. So if you are really into investment pieces, I don't think this is going to like, you're not going to make money off this maybe if you hold it for a really long time but at least you know you won't lose a ton of its value if you do hold it um and just keep it i think this is a great piece that you could pass down to whoever you want to pass down to i don't see myself selling this or you know like getting tired of it i don't see myself getting tired of it at all i really truly love the design i think another really good pro about this item is that if you love the justin clue collection which i always really really um just kind of like admired from afar but i've never recently purchased was because the original cartier justin clue is far more expensive ranging at 22 uh two thousand two hundred and thirty dollars which is really really steep it is much thicker of a ring but i do have smaller hands so i didn't think it would even look nice on me so i think this is a really good alternative if you have smaller hands even if you don't have smaller hands you just didn't want something that thick <laughs> on your hand but I think the new kind of you know thin collection especially for the ring is just like incredible I love it I don't regret purchasing it at all and I think if you're on the fence between the two styles or just on this style I think definitely go check it out in person try it on you will love it it's it's a great piece to have it's a great starter piece to have it's my first Cartier piece and I'm really really just like happy that I did choose this as my first piece because I get a lot of wear out of it. It's very, you know, it's like a statement piece. So you get people notice it, people are always like, oh, that's a great ring, that looks really nice. Um, so yeah, I only have, like, there's not that much cons to really say about this. There's a lot of pros. I mean, the fact that it doesn't really, like, you can't see the scratches that easily. You know, it has a lower price point than the original Justin Clue ring. It is a little more expensive than the Cartier Love ring, but I feel like that's easily, you can easily wear by yourself, which I think helps the ring there. Just because if you're paying, say, $100 more, at least this can be worn by itself with, while the other one can be worn by itself, but I feel like it's a little less noticeable, it's a little more bland, and if that's your style, then I think definitely go for it. I'm not bashing on the Cartier Love Wedding style band. I do really, really enjoy it, and that's probably going to be my next piece from Cartier, but I just want to add something to give it a little more flair and that's just my opinion on that style of ring. Now just for the sizing of the ring in case anyone was purchasing it online or they don't have a boutique near where you live. Size 52 which is equivalent to um, size 6 
in like the Americas, they do use European sizing, but I am, I put this on this finger, I could put it on this finger, so my thumb, I could put it also on my middle finger, so I get three fingers that I can usually kind of like move between, um, which is really nice just because I know some rings you can only usually wear in like your middle finger and your pointer finger, but for me to also get my thumb just makes it that much more versatile. I would say that do go down a size. I feel like I'm usually like a size seven in my middle two ring finger. Usually I'm a size like six or five and a half here, but obviously that's like way too big. I just recommend going a size down or measuring your finger. I think you're able to go a size down just because of the way it is made. So it kind of has like more of like a space and opening compared to when I tried on the love, uh, the love wedding band size. I think it was more, I still think it ran a little big, but it was more true to size compared to this one. So if you have the love wedding band size, I would say they do not, they're not equivalent, at least to me. I had to go different sizes, but I think if you do have a boutique near you, just go try it on just because I feel like with their sizing, it's a lot different than like normal ring sizes in general. I don't know if that's just a me thing. If you guys have experienced that, let me know down in the comment section. That's just kind of my experience. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm able to kind of just like switch it off onto different hands. And I do, I do want to mention that if you wear, I feel like usually my thumb or there's some, I forget which uh, finger it is, but depending on which finger I'm using it on, sometimes it pokes my skin. But I think that's my thumb just because the way the like nail ends and it fits my thumb, but it's not like it's a little tight. Obviously you can see it's a little hard to get out compared to like these ones. Um, but yeah, so that sometimes may happen depending on where you put the ring. So if you were thinking about using it, ow, if you were thinking about using it as a thumb ring, um, just maybe be a little cautious on that but I think it makes a great thumb ring I don't know what do you guys think is it just a me thing I just think it looks so cute overall let me know what you guys think have you seen this in person have you purchased this ring you know what are your thoughts on it any wear and tear that I didn't mention you know I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments hopefully this kind of answered some of the questions people were asking of me and as always if you like this video please get a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos by me <laughs> please subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!